What's the problem? Why, as Abraham asked the Creator, well, what does this lack of confidence come from? Why should he ask, uh, how do I know that I will inherit it? What would you do in his place? What would I do in his place? If I'm one who is on such a high level spiritually, I wouldn't ask any questions. There are no questions. I wouldn't ask. I would say, great, that's it. Why? What does this place give him? What place? What? Well, how come the question comes? Why does he ask the Creator? Why should he ask the Creator? He should have such confidence. What confidence does he have? He's an idol worshipper, making all kinds of idols, sculptures, now icons. So, tell a person that he's now idol worshipping. We're all engaged in that. Oh, good, exactly. Money, respect, uh, knowledge. Everything that we engage in in this world is called idolatry, idol worship. Why? Because you work for your ego who dies with you, before you, after you, whatever. There is no profit in it. That's why it's, you're serving a statue. And what does it mean not to serve a statue, a statue an idol? That you're in communication with with something that responds, that you live with and develop with together. My flesh is given to a living Lord, living God. So now he discovers this, this situation, this ability. It's a new state. So he doesn't know. Then he asks. These are questions which, in his stead, we, we, each of us, needs to inhabit that character and to ask those same questions. Aren't you always asking, what will I have, what will I get? So he also asked that. 